Hello everyone, this is Stephen Gaither for HBCUGameDay.com. I just wanted to thank you guys uh, for tuning into this quick video. Uh, we're coming to the end of 2014, beginning of 2015. And I uh, just want to uh, thank everyone for uh, visiting the site in 2014, uh, for everyone who's followed us on social media, uh, and just everyone who supports HBCU sports in general. Um, this has been our best year yet. Uh, we're hoping that 2015 will be even better. Um, you know, just to, uh, to finish up really quick, uh, we're going to go over some of the top posts uh, and top stories from uh, 2015, 2014 as chosen by you guys. These are the ones that were the most clicked on for us. Um, so in early December, the rumor came out that there, the MEAC and the SWAG were planning to get together and do another bowl a la the Heritage uh, Bowl from the 90s. Um, Morgan State's AD says this is going to happen. He's the first MEAC person to actually come out and say this is going to happen. So uh, this will be an interesting development in 2015 to see how that works out. Uh, another story that we had that did really well was uh, North Carolina Antes bus being towed after a loss to FAMU. Um, you know, the official word was that uh, you know it was scheduled for some some repairs, and so that's why uh, the bus was towed and the players flew back. Um, but it was a very interesting story that really flew off the shelves. Uh, and then another one uh, was the homecoming post. Uh, we basically went through and just compiled all the stats and made it kind of a database. Um, and uh, But surprisingly, it was very controversial because different teams count attendance different ways. And Tuskegee came out on top, but uh, North Carolina A&T and uh, Tennessee State had a lot to say about that. Uh, so we'll see next year. Maybe teams kind of switch that up or, you know, how that works out. Um, also, UAPB had uh, over 100 ineligible athletes uh, back a couple years ago that participated in sports, so the NCAA came down hard on those guys, um, and they're working to get that. You know, It looks like they've got those issues resolved, which is a good thing. Uh, then we also had the CIAA tournament. D. Todd, a former, uh, former uh, AD at North Carolina A&T, basically uh, stated that if the CIAA wanted to keep the CIAA tournament about basketball that it needed to stay out of Charlotte. Of course, they eventually ended up not only staying in Charlotte, but also moving their headquarters there uh, in the very near future. So we'll see if her words come to fruition in 2015 and beyond. Uh, we also had a uh, young man, Terrence Toussaint, um, who police say was killed while attempting to uh, invade a home. Uh, some people were saying he was set up. Um, it's just a sad situation overall. So the young man was a football player, um, very promising future, and a very sad end to his life. Um, one of our biggest posts early in the year was FAMU came out with these uh, prototypes of uh, possible helmets, metallic helmets. And, uh, you know, we just took the picture and basically put it out to the world. And, um, you know, it kind of blew up everywhere. It ended up on Yahoo, on UniWatch, and, and a lot of different things like that. So that was a great post for us. Fam, you never wore the helmets actually this year. But, hey, maybe if they had, maybe it would have helped them out a little bit. And last but not least, we have Shell of a Stadium. That uh, is Herndon Stadium in, uh, in Atlanta, home of Morris Brown football, uh, which no longer exists. Um, you know, I just went and saw that in first person. It was very jarring, and uh, it really kind of made me think a lot. So it kind of touched me, and it looks like it touched a lot of people as well. So I was very pleased with that. Um, 2015, we are um, looking to do more of that type of thing, more uh, original in-depth reporting. Uh, we're still going to bring you guys all the, the latest and greatest news, and, and, and we're going to, you know, do what we can to do it faster and better than everyone else. And, uh, you know, we're also hoping to go into the documentary realm. Uh, so, you know, with that said, you know, we, uh, you know, some of the funds that we've gotten from you guys that our supporters have given us, uh, we went ahead and purchased a uh, camera that does our HD video, which is what you're watching right now. So that's going to be a big help. Um, but you've know, got a document, at least one documentary plan. Hopefully, uh, you know, all goes well. We'll get a couple more done, uh, more video, uh, more interactive things. So again, I thank everyone who supported HBCU Game Day uh, since the inception of 2012. Or if you just, you know, this is the first video that you're seeing. Um, you know, uh, this is uh, something I think is very important. I put my heart and soul into it, and uh, I hope you guys appreciate it. And uh, you know, I hope it becomes everything that you guys need. Um, Again, so this is Stephen Gaither uh, wishing everyone a happy new year and let's uh, do big things in 2015. Thanks.